everyone. Welcome to Love and Life's Journey. I'm Chantel. If you're new to my channel, thanks so much for stopping by. I hope you'll consider sticking around a while by hitting that subscribe button and also the bell when it appears so that YouTube will notify you when I upload new videos. So it seems like it's been a while since I put up a, a video, but really it hasn't been that long. It just seems like it, I guess, because last week I was down and out with the flu and then I had a teen girl convention that I was in charge of this last weekend. So just trying to get through the flu and get well enough to go to the convention um, and get through that. It just seems like it's been a really long time, but it's really just been a little over a week. So I'm excited to get back into the routine and get some more DIY videos out for you. So today I have a, um, project for something I saw on the Pottery Barn website and it was for these planters and I just uh, really liked the look of them. They were different and they had um, cool designs and texture to them and I knew that I could recreate these for probably just a couple of dollars each. So I'm going to show you today how I did that. So let's just jump right in and get started. So for this project I'm using some various pots that I picked up at Dollar Tree and um, in different sizes this one is one that came in I think a three or four pack I use them in my topiary video and I'll link that in the card above so you can check that out and then this one has some texture to it and I'm going to show at the end of the video a shortcut that you can do with this pot I'll also be using some 3d puffy paint you can pick this up at I think Walmart and um, Hobby Lobby, any of the craft stores, these were like $1.29 at Hobby Lobby. And it doesn't matter what color because they're going to be painted over anyway. I'll also be using Waverly Chalk Paint in the color Ivory and Elephant and also Truffle, but it's not shown here. I'm also using some clear sealers. I'm using a matte finish as well as a glossy finish. And then you'll also need some paint brushes, paper towels, and a sponge, which I didn't show here. So if the pot that you're using is pretty slick or smooth, you'll want to just run some sandpaper over it. And then I'm taking the puffy paint and I'm just going to draw my design. This is a rose design that I saw on the Pottery Barn website that I'm recreating and I'm just freehanding it. You could draw it out uh, with a pencil first if you want and then follow that, uh, but I just decided to freehand it and see how it came out. When you're doing this, you want to make sure that you're getting quite a bit of paint on the pot because you want a really good three-dimensional look and um, the paint does flatten out a little bit as it dries so you just want to make sure you have a nice thick bead of paint coming out uh, on your design when you have your design all finished with the puffy paint you'll want to let it dry thoroughly i let mine dry uh, overnight and uh, you just want to make sure that it is completely dry before you uh, do the next step which is painting it and I'm using the Waverly chalk paint in the color ivory and I did put two coats of paint on this I also painted a little bit in the inside of the pot just so that if it showed once I put my flowers in it at least it would uh, be the same as the outside of the pot. Once my paint is dry, I'm going to take my matte sealer and just give this a really light coat of sealer. I'm doing this because I want to make sure that this paint stays on when I do the next step, but I don't want to um, completely seal it so much that um, my paint for this next step doesn't stick to it. In this next step, I'm going to take some of the chalk paint in the color truffle and I'm going to get my paintbrush pretty wet. 
before I add some paint to the brush and then I'm going to cover the whole pot in this and I want it to be more kind of like a stain so that's why I wanted it to be a little bit watery and I'm going to go over the whole pot and you can do this as dark or as light as you want I wanted it to be a little bit darker um, I'm going for kind of an old world or Tuscan look or um, but I just wanted it to be really dark and rich colored so uh, I went over it several times and then uh, I'm going to wipe off some of the excess Once the truffle chalk paint has dried, I'm going to take a damp sponge and I'm just going to carefully wipe off some of the paint, uh, just trying to get it off of the raised areas and kind of leave it in the recessed areas. And it's okay if this isn't perfect. Uh, it's not supposed to look perfect. It's supposed to look really antique and worn and patinaed. So um, just take off as much or as little as you want and if you take off too much you can always add some more and uh, so uh, it's just kind of whatever your taste is so here's what the outside looks like once I've uh, finished mine and I'm also going to add a little bit of the truffle chalk paint to the inside of the pot so that it is all uniform in color. And then once it's completely dried, I'm going to go ahead and spray it with the matte finish again. And I want this uh, to be a matte finish and not the glossy um, because I want it to have that old world feel. For this next planter, I'm going to use this medium sized pot from Dollar Tree. And again, I'm going to add a design to it using the 3D puffy paint. And the design that I'm putting on this one is completely different. It's going to be some cattails and some dragonflies. And again, I'm just free handing it, but if you want to use a pattern to trace on, you can do that. And uh, Again, you want to make sure that you put your design on the planter um, pretty thick so that you get that three-dimensional um, look. This was a design that I saw on birchlane.com and it was on a set of three large planters uh, for outdoors. Uh, I just really like the design, but for the set of three planters from their website, they wanted over $800. And while this planter is much smaller, um, I'm really just spending a couple dollars to make it. So you could use this technique and make a large planter for outside and it would still only cost you a few dollars. Again, you'll want to let your 3D puffy paint dry completely overnight is best. And then um, I didn't show it here, but I did spray this with the matte finish sealer as well, just to help my paint stick to it a little bit better. And I'm going to use the elephant chalk paint to paint this because I'm going for more of a cement planter look for this one and so I'm just going to paint the whole thing with the elephant chalk paint. Once the paint is dry, I'm going to take a light gray color paint. This is just some apple barrel paint that I had on hand. You can pick that up at Walmart for 50 cents. And I'm going to dry brush on the planter all the way around um, and really just trying to highlight the design and so I'm using just a little bit of paint on my paintbrush. I'm going to wipe the excess off on a paper towel and then just really lightly brush over 
so that um, it really brings out that design. I'm also going to add just a little bit of dry brushing to the parts of the planter that don't have the design on it. Uh, this just gives it a little bit more of a natural cement look for the pot so that it looks more uniform all the way around. And then I would recommend spraying this with the matte sealer as well. You don't want it to be glossy if you want it to look like cement. So uh, just use a matte sealer on it. So I know some of you might be saying that doing the design in the puffy paint um, freehand is too hard or difficult. And so here is a hack that you can use um, just by picking up one of these pots that already has a raised design on it from Dollar Tree. Um, and then we're just going to paint it and we'll get the same effect using this pot because it already has a three-dimensional design. So I'm going to paint this pot in the elephant chalk paint and actually I'm going to show you two different uh, looks. So I'm going to do half in the gray and then half in the ivory and show you two different looks. So once again, when the paint is completely dry, I'm going to use a dry brush technique on this. And so on the dark gray, the elephant uh, chalk paint side, I'm going to use the light gray and just dry brush lightly over this paint and it will give us that look uh, very similar to what I did with the cattail uh, planter. Then I'm going to do the same thing on the ivory side. I'm going to use the truffle chalk paint and um, just dry brush over it and instead of a cement look this is going to uh, just give us a little bit more of an antiqued, uh, a distressed look. So here are the two lighter colored pots. I really love how they came out. I love how they all came out and you can see you can get different looks by just using different colors and different uh, three-dimensional designs and so this is the pot that had the design on it already so that one was super easy to do and then of course this one with the rose pattern on it was quite a bit more work but I really like how it came out too I love these cement looking planters as well. They just turned out really different and unique. And so I hope you liked this project, this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below which planters are your favorite. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing and don't forget to hit that bell when it appears so that you'll be notified when I upload new videos. Thank you so much for watching and have a blessed day.